Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and it's a nice day out. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. But it's cold. It's uh, 57's the high today. We're not getting back into the 60's uh, for about another week. Oh, we might touch 60 one day, but it's going to be raining. So I got to mow the lawn again. Ugh, dandelions. Um, I picked something up I want to show you. If you guys have any kind of carpet in the uh, trunk of your car, your van, or whatever, it doesn't make a difference what it is. If you can get Velcro hooks to hook to it, which I know I can because um, I've got Velcro on here and you can see it's holding it pretty strong. <laughs> um, these things are kind of cool. They're stay holds. Uh, you can use it to oh, do all kinds of stuff. I don't know. You can see the pictures there. And they make little straps that you can get to hold cans. But yeah, um, I thought this would be nice to put in the back to hold crap. Like, all this stuff is always falling, and I've always got it tucked away on the side here. So maybe I'll put one of those there. <laughs> or I'll put uh, this here. And that'll keep it from going anywhere. Um, but you can put, you know, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever. I'm going to use one of these for the battery up front to keep it from sliding around because right now I'm using those tires. But yeah, I thought these would be kind of nice to have, so I picked them up. So again, the link will be down below for them. They're called Stay Hold Mini Cargo Organizer or Stay Hold. And they make different colors. Um, you can get them in a kit like I did. I got a lot of stuff to do today. Let me show you. Guy still doesn't come for his pressure washer. So I've got to wait for him to come get it. It's kind of in the way at this point. It wasn't, but um, as you know, I did the rear brakes. I got the front brakes, so I'm going to have to do those today. This broke, um, which my old one did too. This is a common problem with uh, this old body style Ford. There's just a plastic tab that goes in here uh, that you know holds that up. The nice thing about it is the support, the way it's designed. Uh, I just need to drill a hole and run a uh, zip strip wire tie whatever you want to call through this and up and over and it will hold it just fine it'll make it just uh, the way it used to be because uh, that's what happened in the past um, looks like I got a little leak here I wonder where that's coming from well wow, that's odd oh I see it's coming from here it's coming from this little hose thingy wonder why that is Hmm, I'm going to have to look into that. <laughs> I guess I'm glad I opened up the uh, opened up the truck. That's pretty secure. Uh, I went ahead and made a, uh, an appointment to have a uh, window tent done on the truck, but that's going to be a while. That's not going to be until the end of May. Uh, what else did I do? Today I picked up an alternator because I'm doing the conversion. Uh, this thing's only a 90 amp alternator. This is the biggest alternator that you could get on this truck from the factory. Um, but you can put uh, other alternators on here. So I'm going to do that today. I've got to do some clocking, which clocking means turning uh, to where the wire connectors are pointing in the right direction. The one that I bought, they're pointing in the wrong direction, uh, but it'll work. Uh, I'll, I'll just have to do some, some maintenance on it before I put it together. And let's see what else did I get oh yeah I got some uh, lithium-ion tools now as you guys know or may not know I've mentioned it in the past um, I've had these for quite a while and the battery packs are like forty dollars and they're real heavy this this thing's pretty heavy but it's lasted me and it came in a kit I got this I got a saw um, I got uh, the uh, make sure that don't fall off <laughs> I got this saw also and a flashlight which is kinda dumb I never use that and I've used them all these years but the battery packs went bad I I rejuvenated them and they lasted for a little bit longer and uh, yeah here's the other saw that one there and then uh, they finally took a crap again except this one's good it's it's brand new but I've been wanting to do lithium ion, so finally um, I got new Porter Cable with lithium ions. Um, these will go with us when we go full time RVing. And of course I got a little saw and I got another one of these saws and uh, comes with two batteries, a charger. 
Uh, I'll put a link down below for this. Uh, just pick it up wherever you can find it, the cheapest. Um, I don't remember what Amazon was on this, but I had a, a coupon thing for Lowe's. That's why I went through them. If not, I would have went with Amazon. So link will be down below for these. These uh, are the reason that I got into lithium ion because these things last a really long time. These are only 12 volt. I've got this one. I got this one, which is a, a 90. I got a drill bit on there getting ready to drill. And then I have one of those hammerhead nailers. Um, that's kind of cool. But yeah, that's uh, that's something I've been working towards, you know, for us to go full timing, uh, that I would have lithium ion battery tools because the lithium ion battery technology is just better it lasts longer and they can set longer now getting to this big job site box I finally went ahead and bought some uh, dividers for it or some uh, totes you can see here they're 15 quart totes I had to do all the measurements that I needed this will give me enough room in here uh, this tote I bought and I'm like eh, that ain't gonna work but I already bought it so might as well throw it in there <laughs> but this will give me enough room for all my odds and ends of stuff um, like uh, probably those well maybe not those tools I don't know 100% if I'm gonna throw those tools in there or not um, they have their own case what I think that I should do is whatever has its own case like this tool here I'll um, use that and its case but stuff like uh, you know my uh, torque wrenches in that. I'll put all that stuff in there. Here's some more stuff that needs to go into those totes. There's nothing in those white totes. However, this tote here is pretty much crammed full. I was just trying to see how it worked and how it looked and I'm going to transfer all this stuff into one of these white totes. And I might end up buying another one of those white totes and then using this for something else. Uh, because again, I just bought this just to try it to get an idea. And then once I got an idea of the dimensions and everything, um, this will allow me to stay a little bit more organized instead of just having everything thrown in there these are essentially drawers that I'm installing each tote will represent a drawer of some kind so really nice I'm glad that I'm getting towards what I've been trying to get towards and that's some sort of organization with my tools uh, there was something else that's been going on I can't remember everything because it's just been kind of a blur I mean I've been saying for a long time now that once we get into May uh, I'll be really busy and that's why I haven't really been shooting any videos or putting them up uh, the other day it was so hot inside the house and you can see or maybe not let's see see over there that silver thing that's our air conditioner cover that I made years ago out of some old bed slats or something I didn't want to uncover that and neither did Heidi for obvious reasons because once we uncover it that means we're gonna start running the air conditioner and that means the electricity bill is gonna go up and we had a couple of days it was like 82 in the house and it was just uncomfortable we didn't have much of a breeze or anything else for that matter so what we did that night was Heidi and I hopped in the uh, RV and slept <laughs> uh, it was just too darn hot to stay in the house and we didn't want to turn on the air um, however with that little fan that I installed in the RV bathroom um, with just the window cracked a little bit you know it pulled in nice cool air and of course I had the another fan running in there so we stayed nice and cool in the RV it was nice it was a kind of a nice change now I've got more stuff that I need to do to the truck yet uh, such as exhaust I'm gonna be working on the exhaust I don't know how far I'm going to be going on the exhaust I might be uh, putting on some different headers than what I currently have and uh, I'm definitely doing some sort of a uh, header back exhaust system I'm not sure where I'm going with that yet but uh, eventually uh, I think I might be doing that again the front brakes I'll be doing those here in the next couple days I got a new heater core for the truck this heater core has been darn near blocked off entirely since I got it so I'm glad that I finally you know got it to where I can replace it it's not a big deal to do on these trucks it just takes a little bit of time and uh, then at that point um, I'm gonna take the truck over to the transmission shop and have them just listen to it take it for a drive look at it do some tests and make sure they feel as if it's pretty stable um, I think it is but it does do some weird shifting occasionally you know some hard shifting some late shifting uh, but it, it pulls the camper just fine whenever it's under load you know really putting it to it it's always done really well so I don't know if I'm gonna to have to do anything with the tranny but maybe possibly 
Um, there's talk of maybe me replacing the front windshield. I'll show you why. I don't know how much you can see this, but all these years in Florida, uh, this truck set, it's just made this tempered and peeling. The laminate is delaminating. Uh, the windshield is nice. There's no chips or cracks or anything in it, but I've got all this going on all the way around and all this white. Um, that's not, that's not good. That just can't be good. Uh, so I'm thinking about possibly getting a new windshield installed for that. Oh, I forgot I got parts in here that I need to bring out. Yeah, there's the alternator. There's my brakes and my brake fluid, um, which we'll be doing that a little bit later. The alternator I might be doing still today because we've got rain and more cold coming. I can't believe how cold it's got. It just doesn't make any sense that we're in a cold pattern um, for the next basically 10 days. Uh, I don't like it. I'm a little bit cold even just wearing this jacket, but I do have to mow the lawn uh, with our old mower. Um, Heidi and I talked about getting another mower just to, to get the job done faster so I'm not spending so much time, but the money that's involved with these mowers are just crazy. If I can find something used somewhere uh, that's a good deal, might need a little repair, I'll, I'll jump on that and, and do it. But yeah, this is uh, what we've been doing, and I want to give you some sort of an update uh, nothing real exciting, just those things. I know I'm forgetting something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but we're talking about doing two things, um, and it's coming up here in May uh, at some point. Um, either some sort of a camping trip or some sort of, uh, well, yard sale, uh, big sale. Um, we're thinking we're going to have to have a couple of them this year. Heidi was talking about having it over Memorial Day, but... I, it's a lot of work. She doesn't realize, I don't think, that she's going to have to take off about three days prior to having a yard sale. And if the yard sale is four days, so that means she's going to have to burn a whole week, and three days of that week is just nothing but us going through everything. And I don't even know if that's enough. Um, it's, it's going to be testing. Now, the good news is Heidi's definitely feeling the full-time thing. She's definitely feeling it quite a bit to where she wants to go and and do stuff you know and and get out of here all good news and uh i'm gonna be busy so i'm gonna let you guys go i have to uh mow the lawn again and then uh, start working on this truck because again tomorrow it's going to be uh, rain i think the high might be 50 and then we're in the 50s every day there's one day it's going to be 60 is listed as the high and it's going to be raining and um our lows are in the 40s, the lower 40s, uh, almost every night. So not not extremely pleasant for the month of May, but, um, you know, there's sunshine out. I guess that's a good point. So let me get mowing here. And as always, guys, I hope to see you out there. Bye.